my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do some nail decals. Now I'm doing these today because I want to show you how we can work with really, really small text and images. So I've got three words here, just boo, all the same, and I've used three different fonts. These are my go-to fonts for really, really small kind of cuts. Uh, so this one is Milkshake. This one is Mission Script. And this one is I Miss Your Kiss. And I think that these three, for me, as I say, are my go-tos for really, really small fonts. So I've already come in and sorted this one and this one, but this one I just want to reduce the letter space. And then I'm just going to weld it so it becomes one. And then I want to reduce it down. So I'm going to, and this is the smallest that I would do text. So I'm going to reduce each of these down to 0 0.5 inches. I mean, that is just tiny, tiny. So we're just going to do that with the text. So I then want to get some images, so I'm just going to go into images. You can see I've already typed in tombstone, so we're going to get that one. I'm then going to search for pumpkin. Let's go with that one. Then I want to search for bat. Let's just go with this one. You'll see I'm choosing quite basic images. When you are going to cut that small, you just you can't be working with lots and lots of detail. So they are quite basic images. We're then going to insert them. Now with my RIP, when I reduce it down, it's just not gonna cut the RIP. Uh, so we're just going to come in and contour the text away. Sometimes, you know, you may want to do something really complicated. Sometimes it's just easier to simplify it and it's still gonna have the same effect on your nails. This one I'm gonna keep as it is. So I'm gonna reduce these down to 0.3, which is the smallest I would go with basic images like these. The bat I want at 0.4 and then the pumpkin I think we will go for 0.4 again. And then I just want to change the colour on the pumpkin to black so they're all going to cut on the same piece of vinyl. We can then go to make it. We can then go to continue. I'm using my maker but you can of course use your air. You just want to set your dial to custom. And we are going to choose washi sheet today. I'm going to set the pressure to more. And I am actually using just normal Cricut vinyl today. So we're going to go and set that up. Come in first and I remove all the middle bits. And you just want to come in with your scraper and literally just very gently just remove them. Now with a simple image like this one, it's got a nice round kind of shape to it. We're just gonna come in and we're just going to weed as we normally would. Now you may find you need to give it a bit of a helping hand with your weeding tool just to get it started, but it will just weed out the way that it should. Next up we've got our tombstone, we've got no inner weeding to do with that so we're just going to weed that the way we normally would. Again you may need to use your weeding tool to help you slightly but that's nice and easy enough. And then exactly the same with our bat, we're just going to come in and weed it like we always would and again you may need to give it a bit of a helping hand with your weeding tool. With our text, I do what I do with the image. I'm going to come in and just remove the middle pieces first. And you just want to take your time with this. You don't want to rush this at all. And then we're actually just going to move on to the next one. We're gonna leave this as it is. Now you may find, depending on the text, that you can manually go in and weed. So for example, with this one, 
I can. So I'm just going to use my weeding tool to help me. Just going to very gently peel up. And you can do it that way if you feel you can. With these other two, we're not going to be able to do that because they're scripted and they're small. So I've got some small pieces of transfer tape and I'm going to transfer everything all at once. So we're going to work with this one first. We're just going to place our transfer tape over. We're going to go in with our scraper and give it a really, really good scrape. And then we're going to turn it over and scrape from the back as well. We can also come in and remove the backing sheet. You're then going to get your edge of your vinyl and you're just going to come in and just very, very gently start lifting up. And of course you are going to want to use your weeding tool to help you with this. In case you can't see, I currently have a Bisley lying on my arm. So that's fun. There you go. And you just, as I say, want to take your time with it. It is quite time intensive because you're working with really small areas, but it can work. You just, as I say, have to take your time. So because that's on our transfer tape, we're just going to come in and transfer it to our nail straight away. And you literally just need to press down with one of your fingers 